the legal landscape surrounding electric scooters in the United States has evolved significantly in recent years, shaped primarily by localized regulations rather than sweeping legislative measures at the national level. While federal guidelines exist to define parameters such as maximum speed and motor power, the intricacies of electric scooter usage are largely dictated by state and municipal laws. Given the dynamic nature of these regulations, it's essential for polo riders to remain informed and compliant with the latest legal requirements. While the following regulations are going to apply to Americans, we will be producing a video for our fellow Canadian riders in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. Over the next few minutes, we are going to give a high-level review of the federal, state, and local level regulations you will want to know about. However, if you want to take a deep dive into your market regulations, we have a comprehensive blog post that delves into the regulatory frameworks governing our primary markets such as New York, LA, San Francisco, and Chicago. Okay, let's start at the federal level, where electric scooters are subject to specific legislation governing their power and speed. According to these regulations, e-scooters must not exceed a maximum speed of 20 miles an hour and are permitted on roads if equipped with an electric motor of 750 watts or less. This classification aligns e-scooters with low-speed electric vehicles, including electric bicycles under federal law. State regulations introduce a layer of complexity to the legal framework surrounding electric scooters, with laws varying significantly from one jurisdiction to another. While many states categorize e-scooters as low-speed electric vehicles akin to electric bicycles, specific provisions regarding speed limits, licensing requirements, and helmet mandates differ widely. It's crucial for riders to familiarize themselves with the specific regulations applicable in their state of operation. For instance, in California, electric scooter riders must possess a valid driver's license or learner's permit, adhere to a maximum speed of 15 miles an hour, and refrain from riding on sidewalks. Contrastingly, New York mandates a minimum age of 16 for riders, enforces helmet requirements for minors, and restricts e-scooter operation to designated areas in the city. Further complicating the regulatory landscape are localized ordinances enacted by municipalities and cities across the city. These ordinances often introduce additional restrictions or requirements tailored to the unique needs and challenges of urban environments. For example, in Austin, Texas, e-scooters are permitted on sidewalks under certain conditions, with riders expected to yield to pedestrians and maintain clear pathways. Similarly, in Miami, Florida, e-scooter riders must adhere to specific speed limits and parking regulation outlined in the city's code of ordinances. Such local laws aim to ensure the safe integration of e-scooters into existing transportation infrastructure while minimizing potential conflicts with pedestrians and other road users. In light of the diverse regulatory landscape governing electric scooters in the United States, riders face the challenge of navigating a complex terrain of laws and ordinances. To facilitate compliance and promote safe riding practices, several guidelines can be followed. Number one, stay informed. Regularly monitor updates to e-scooter regulations at the federal, state, and local levels to remain abreast of any changes or amendments. Number two, adhere to local laws. Familiarize yourself with the specific regulation applicable to your area of operation, including speed limits, helmet requirements, and designated riding areas. Number three, practice safe riding habits. Prioritize safety by wearing appropriate protective gear, obeying traffic signals, and yielding to pedestrians and other road users. Number four, exercise caution when riding in unfamiliar areas or navigating through crowded areas, and be mindful of potential hazards or obstacles. Now, let's transition our focus from legal considerations to safety measures. After all, laws are established with safety as a paramount concern. So, what are the essential safety requirements for electric scooter riders and how can you ensure a safe journey? There are three fundamental safety requirements 
for all scooters. First, we have helmets. It's the most important purchase you'll ever make for your scooting adventures. Helmets offer your critical protection against accidents and severe injuries, particularly safeguarding against head trauma. Helmets are also mandated by 10 states in the USA and are required for riders under the age of 18 almost everywhere. However, in our opinion, whether mandated by law or not, always prioritize wearing a helmet for your safety. Especially for scooters like the Apollo City or the Apollo Pro, capable of reaching very high top speeds, we would recommend a full face helmet to fully protect your face when riding. Next up, we have lighting and visibility. Proper illumination is indispensable for e-scooters to ensure rider visibility and enhance safety at all times when on the road especially during low lit conditions or nighttime travel. When buying a scooter, you should find one that's outfitted with a white front visible light from a minimum distance of 500 feet, accompanied by a rear red light or reflector. Various states impose specific lighting requirements, underscoring the importance of maintaining adequate visibility for rider safety. Lastly, we have age restrictions for e-scooter riders, which varies by state. However, a minimum age threshold of 16 years is required everywhere. Some states, such as Nebraska or Tennessee, established minimum ages of 17 and 18 for e-scooters, respectively. These age criteria are designed to ensure that riders possess the requisite maturity and skill to operate a scooter safely, thereby mitigating potential risks. By adhering to these safety requirements, riders can enjoy their scooters while prioritizing personal safety and minimizing hazards for themselves and others on the road. As a manufacturer of electric scooters, we will do our absolute best to make sure our scooters are compliant with every single area where we sell them, whether it's the US, Canada, Europe, or even Australia. All our scooters are equipped with front lights, rear lights, bells, turn signals, etc. to make sure that if new regulation comes into force in your state that you'll be covered. Overall, we recommend to ride your scooter with the utmost safety for yourself and other riders. Please just be respectful to other riders and pedestrians. Don't go through red lights, don't go over speed limits, and just practice safety at all times while riding a scooter. As always, ride safe and thanks for tuning in.